Good morning Street Hunters. Another lovely day in Crete and once again I am in Forteza, the fortress, because it's very windy today and I thought that if I talked while in the street it would be too noisy. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting subject, points of view in street photography. Many of us uh, keep forgetting that we have different options when shooting with our cameras and we almost always shoot from eye level. Well eye level tends to be a bit boring sometimes so I'm going to talk about different points of view today and how to become a little bit more creative with your street photography. Isn't it just lovely? Anyway Let's get to the subject. So, besides shooting from eye level, what other points of views can you use to become more creative? One of my favorites is called rat's eye view. Rat's eye view is when you shoot from ground level. And uh, all digital cameras have LCD screens. Some of them flip out, some of them don't. But even if they don't, you can still compose and see what you're shooting from ground level. So what you have to do is take your camera, turn the LCD sc screen on, Believe me, if you don't turn the LCD screen on, the only other option is for you to lie on the floor. You don't want to do that. You turn on the LCD screen, you lower down all the way to the ground, like this. You know, you can even touch the camera to the, to the floor, to the ground, and you uh, take a shot from uh, that point of view. And uh, the results are quite dramatic. People tend to look like giants. The point of view is very interesting, and uh, the results will well, well, I think you'll enjoy it. If you haven't done it uh, yet, you should try it out. Now, besides shooting from rat's eye view, you've also got bird's eye view. To shoot from bird's eye view, you have to be somewhere high up. So, for example, like I am here. So, I'm all the way up here on these walls. You can see all the way down. See? So, if I had a normal lens, I've got a wide-angle lens now, so if I shoot from here, it won't look very nice. But if I had a normal lens, something like, like an equivalent to 50 millimeters, I would be able to make nice compositions of people from high above. And that would be a bird's-eye view shot. But there are also in-between in between points of views that we can use. For example, a friend of mine, Yanis Yasaris, he's a street photographer, he lives in Melbourne. He usually shoots from his waist, but looking up. So you get that kind of like a rat's eye view, but at a higher level. You can call it, I don't know, a dog's eye view or whatever. It's, uh, the results are very interesting and very dramatic. He gets close to his subjects and he tilts the camera slightly upwards, composes using the LCD screen and takes a shot. Respectively, you can do the same thing from above. So you can have the camera at your forehead level, looking down like that and taking the shot. So basically, you have four different points of view you can take advantage of. And also the normal point of view, which is from eye level right here, which most of the shots are made, for, made with. I hope this uh, small introduction was understandable. There's nothing much more to talk about concerning points of view in street photography. The only other thing I can probably, uh, I can probably advise you to do is to play around and uh, make shots from different angles as well. So instead of uh, only doing low, high, etc. points of view, you can also shoot from the side and do different combinations like that. For example, another very good street photographer, Gabby Ben Abraham from Israel, he uses this technique. He gets really close to his subjects and he shoots from different points of view, different angles. His shots have a very unique feeling. I recommend you check his work out as well. So yeah, let's go and make some shots now using those points of view as an example so you can understand better what I'm talking about. Please keep in mind that the shots that I'll be making today are not going to be award-winning street shots. <laughs> Okay, the street shots that will be made today are made for demonstration purposes only. If a good shot turns out, all the better. So let's go. There aren't many high vantage points in uh, Rethymn, I'm afraid. It's a very little town, flat town. I'm here and I've spotted some people coming and I'm going to stand up here and take their photograph, hopefully. He will uh, pass down there. Now this is going to be a really crappy shot, but I want, to, I want you to understand the bird's eye view concept. That's the whole point of this demonstration. 
I'll wait a little bit longer and see if anyone else comes. Well, I waited quite some time and nobody came. So I've spotted that guy over there on the bench. I'll just go and photograph him from a above head level, pointing downwards from the back. Just make a simple shot. He seems quite relaxed. And if anyone else happens to walk by from that high point over there, I will uh, go back up again. So by lifting the point of view higher, I get a more interesting result. It seems that I will be getting some bird's eye view shots. As I sh said, shots are crap, but I just want you to understand the concept here. Yeah. That's the angle I was aiming for. The angle my Greek friend from Melbourne shoots at. I'm in a lovely alley here now. I can use rat's eye view to take a photo of someone that passes like that. Oh, come on. Now, this is one thing that street photography teaches you, it's patience. Here we are. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we examined all the points of view on a theoretical and a practical level. I hope you've understood. I hope you use this information to create beautiful photographs. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay sharp and keep shooting, guys.